Hey guys, Dre here from Iron Scroll Studios. This is part four of character design process uh, video. Pretty much the coloring portion and the finalization of uh, the character design for uh, Naomi Jefferson, codenamed Carbon. Uh, pretty much. You know, if you see my previous videos, what you watched was just the basic construction of getting to this final phase of coloring. Um, I'm not really, or at least I feel as though I'm not real versed as far as a colors is concerned, but it's something I want to improve in as an artist with my skills. Um, there's a lot that I have to learn as far as lighting is concerned, um, understanding the direction of light, understanding just color theory in general and really kind of putting colors together that actually kind of work harmoniously. Um, so I do, you'll see in this video, I do a lot of experimenting and just trying different things out. Um, I pretty much know at least when I start out, you want to start out with flat colors. So I can kind of go in and just um, create a layer and then just put a color down. You know, sometimes with some artists, some people tell you, you can just put any color down because it's not going to matter because you'll probably change it anyway, which is true. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I kind of try and look for the color, my base color that I'm actually looking for. So then that way I don't have to worry about it later. Um, it just all depends on how I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, so I'll pretty much just go in, just put in a base layer. Um, and while I'm doing that, I, I am actually trying to figure out my colors for for whatever subject I'm working on. Um, in this example here with the with Niobe's just her face profile, what I was doing was kind of looking for more of a painterly look. Um, so after my base colors are down, I kind of was going in like with the airbrush and kind of playing around with kind of like trying to create form to her face instead of it being just the 2D line drawing that you see at least if I can come in with like a little airbrush and then start doing shadows and highlights in there I can kind of bring her form out a little bit to make it look a little more three-dimensional um, so I was playing around you can see I'm just playing around with a lot of different techniques and different lines even like with, with the highlights sometimes I like just kind of add like those hard line highlights um, against the, the softer airbrush um, airbrush highlights or, or shadows um, so I was really playing around with it um, I ended up with like a weird highlight in the hair which I didn't like too much but you know you just got to keep going um, I may go back in later on and change it or not. I don't know but what I ended up doing for the for her full figure understanding that you know a lot of these characters that for, for my comic that's coming up as above so below um, I wanted to make sure that I had a process where I could move kind of fast so I started experimenting with not doing a more painterly coloring style but more of a flat tone like animated style um, to where you just have your base colors and then as far as uh, shadows are concerned, I just use a hard black. Usually what I do is I'll just use black and then I'll just turn down the opacity on it to like 20%, 25%. And what it does is it gives you a nice uh, low value black that kind of looks like shadows. Like you'll see here in a minute where after I get the base layers down and my colors down, I'll just take that uh, black I just create a new layer um, and use black and then I'll just go in it's almost like you kind of like just painting the shadows in or drawing the shadows in and um, I kind of was happy with it I thought it was it was something that was a little quicker for me production wise to be able to get colors in and, and get the message across quickly like I said I still have to work a lot on understanding light and my direction with light so it takes me some time um, as far as laying some of the shadows down because sometimes I just know that, that I'm not, I'm not uh, laying them down correctly so I have to kind of play around with it a little bit um, as you can see here I pretty much was, was uh, just playing around with just trying to find different colors for our outfit 
accessories like the belt, um, her boots and things like that. And, it, and, and it's funny, it's like when you start, when you leave one process and go to another one, like after I finish her, the inks and finalize the inks and go into the color, it's like now going back over the character again while I'm coloring. I see so many things that I would wish I did differently and could change. But like I said, you know, it's one of those things where it's a learning process. So it's just like I just make a mental note of, of what it was so the next time I can hopefully uh, do better at it and, and, and improve at it, whether it's it's line weight, um, just just even like small things where it's like, okay, does this accessory really fit? Would it really fit the form this way? Or is, it, is there a better way I could kind of lay and do the groundwork for how her outfit fits on her. That was the biggest thing for me, especially like accessory. That's like something I kind of struggle with too. I see a lot of artists where it's like, it, it's crazy the amount of details they can actually put in their work, like just as far as, ex especially fashion, like uh, clothes, boots, like buckles, and just those little small things that you don't even think about lots of times. But you can tell there's a lot of artists that will take their time and they'll just get detail and it just, you can just see it just kind of just, ups their game as far as uh, you know whatever they're drawing it just looks really it, it looks great I mean it's a lot of great artists out here and um, I think that's what gives me inspiration to keep going um, I could spend hours online just looking at other people's work and just be amazed by like the quality of the work and what they do you know it just kind of just humbles me a lot more and just makes me want to work even harder just to get better at what I'm doing um, and I'm hoping this process, and like I said, documenting and, and videotaping what I'm actually doing is something that, that um, for one, like I said, I would just like to share with other people who may be interested. But for me as well, it's a learning process and it's something I can go back to and just look at and, and hopefully learn from and move forward to keep uh, creating good content. Because in the end, that's really what I want to do. I just want to really create some great stories. Um, I feel as though I have a lot of great ideas. I've been working on a lot. This story, this story here, is actually a product of a larger story that I've been working on for a while, for years. I've kind of been sitting on, and I just felt like it was just time to kind of start just bringing things out. So I, I wanted to start with this this comic that I'm working on, as above, so below. It's kind of like a precursor for the the larger story. Um, I just felt like, I'm, I'm, which is still a work in progress, but I have a lot of it done. I would say probably 75% of it is actually done, but what I wanted to do was kind of introduce the story slowly, so I wanted to create a smaller one. So as above, so below is the product of that. So then what I did was I broke off a, a smaller portion of the script and kind of made that a little more self-contained as its own title. And then, but at the same time, you know, of course, at the end of the story, it'll be something where you can actually see that it's going to lead into the uh, the bigger story that I have uh, lined up. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. And, and then what you see here now is me just basically finalizing the design. I just used the template from Red, his character design, and just basically brought Niobe in kind of readjusted some things make it a little cleaner open up the spaces on the sides a little bit so everything's not cramped but that's pretty much my process guys of, of everything that i do um the rest of the characters are pretty much are going to be done the same way so this will probably be the last just of the speed drawing process for character design because that's pretty much what i'll do for each and every character that you guys are going to see and then once I'm done, I'll just upload it. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share. Thanks.